Yale Doche gives reports over the death of Kambi, his son. Guys, here comes it. Hello, beautiful people. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening to each and every one of you listening to me at this point in time. This is Real Gist Television. So, guys, thanks for coming out to my channel. I really appreciate your presence. Please, if you've not subscribed to this channel, guys, please do click on the subscribe button and do not forget to leave your notification bell on so that once I post videos, you will get an alert. Then, if you're watching through Facebook, guys, please do click on the follow button to support my page here on Facebook and it will enable you to also get notified once i post my videos okay guys still on Cambi's death guys a lot of news is already flying concerning the next step that the family of yol edochi will be taking and looking at the screen right now yol edochi has come out to notify to the people yes he has reacted to the news of his son's death believe me this is quite a very painful one so if you guys can remember clearly that last week yol notified us that he is in lagos state how did we know he made a post to us telling us that he's taking the child back to school that is the daughter so looking at the screen right now this is your facebook page and you can see the blue mark there that is his verified facebook page so he told us that he's taking his child back to school that means that he came to lagos state to see the family so y'all stays in enugu state with judy Erston, and that is where he does most of his work most of all those movies they act they acted in enugu state so as y'all came believe me he also left to enugu state then just yesterday the call came in the very heartbreaking call telling him that the kid or the children they are not okay you know this type of thing can kill a man yes it's a sudden call so he had to fly all the way from enugu state back to lagos to confirm what he had to confirm if it were to be true that the sun collapsed in school believe me he was taken to the hospital and it was also confirmed that kambili chuku died Hmm. So as he found out, believe me, as a father, he couldn't take it. According to what we heard, Yole Doche cried like a baby. He couldn't take it. It is quite a very painful one. I keep saying it. Losing a child is one of the most heartbreaking things that a parent can experience. Understand? So after everything calmed down, believe me, guys, they now had to look for the next step to follow. Because Kambili is dead and there is nothing they can do anymore but rather to know the reason why this boy died this way. So the report getting to us which is all over social media is that the police are already investigating concerning the death of your son. You know when a child wakes up in the morning without any sign of sickness and leaving the house very healthy. I mean confirmed healthy because if Kambili school showed any sign of sickness believe me the mother wouldn't have allowed him to go to school so for him to must have gone to school that yesterday that means he was okay that means nothing of any sign was seen concerning his health so as he died suddenly believe me it calls for a big investigation first they have to look for what really killed this boy what made him to must have slumped what made the heart to stop is not all about playing the football also but what must have triggered it so right now yole doche now went to the police station to lay a complaint to tell them that this is not usual i want to know what happened to my son i want to know what made my son's life to be cut short i want to know the reason why the son i sent to school healthy now came back as a corpse i want to know why my son ended up in the hospital you know those type of questions that always run through people's mind when things or unimaginable things happens and so these are the questions that keep running on their head so right now yole doche is inquisitive he really wants to know everybody wants to know even the mother wants to know even the social media online in-laws want to know people that cares for me Edoche wants to know personally even me i want to know what would have made this healthy boy that they just celebrated his birthday that was just two months ago dying all of a sudden and believe me guys with all this question the way we are saying it and with what we've seen online already they might even have to do an autopsy to find out what happened you know an autopsy reveals the last thing that must have led to someone's death so believe me this is as in one of the most difficult thing apart from this boy dying passing through an autopsy is another part of pain also to this young boy 
Understand? So according to what we learned also, when an autopsy is being carried out, that the body or the corpse will be dissected. That means it will be divided into two. Mm. And they will now start investigating. So that is why I'm telling you there is another pain onto this young boy. I don't know what type of thing is this, but in everything, God still exists. And he is never too late. He's not going to be coming late on May Edoche's matter. A lot of people are crying because of this news. It is quite a very painful one. But we know that God is going to see May Edoche through. This one year, this past one year, is a year that she has never seen before. A lot of things involved in it. A lot of pains involved in it. Even now, losing a child is another one that is also very hurtful. Believe me, a lot of people are sympathizing with Mary Edoche, most especially Mary Edoche, because of the way the husband had to marry another wife. So people are already thinking of how she'll be feeling right now, how she'll be coping, knowing fully well that she has lost her husband to someone else. And right now, as a couple, they're supposed to mourn together. It will help them to heal faster. But after this... Your Edoche will still go back to Enugu and start staying with uh, Judy Austin. Why may Edoche would not be left all alone, all to herself? That is why it's hurting a lot of people. But in everything, God is with us. Yes, God is with everybody. I know it is not an easy journey for me, don't you, right now? But we know one person. Yes, that person is God. God does not forget anyone. He's going to help her. God is going to see her through. God is going to show her mercy. God is going to be with her. God is going to heal her heart. In fact, God is going to give her the best. Out of all this problem, we believe that for her to must have trusted God out of all these problems. Because we've seen her struggle for these past months. We've seen her trying to force smile in her face. We've seen her trying to be cheerful, at least on her social media. We've seen her trying to cover up. And we know that she has been looking up to God. And God will not fail her. So people of God, please, if you're listening to me, I've listened to this point, please pray for me, Dochi. Use one minute and pray for her, that God will revive her. Because when her husband left her that time, initially she once opened up to us that she nearly committed suicide. But then this one happened. I don't know how she's going to take it, but we know that God will uphold her. God will show her mercy. God will deliver her out of this pain. God will deliver her, guys. So guys, if we keep talking about this mess story, it, is, as in, it will take the whole day. Believe me, because it is quite a painful one. We can't even explain this type of pain that this woman is passing through. But all the same, I think that will be stopping here. Then a quick reminder, please subscribe to my channel. If you are watching through Facebook, please click on the follow button. Okay? Do have a good and a nice day. Bye.